Hello students, hope you all are safe and good in health. Today we are going to study the 11th lesson of Magic Place textbook, The Diamond Necklace. Children, have you heard about the saying, Greed keeps men forever poor, even the abundance of this world will not make them rich. It is very true that greed will always make a man poor. So our lesson, the diamond necklace, is based on the theme greed. The diamond necklace is written by Guy de Maupassant, and he was a French writer who has written 300 short stories, six novels, and three travel books. The dumpling is considered as his masterpiece. His other works include *The Piece of String*, *The Whole La*, *Our Modern Ghost*, and *Bell Holmes Beast*. In all his stories, the human life and destinies as well as social forces are described. Children, the main character in the story is a lady called Mathilda. And she was a lady who was not at all satisfied with her life. She wanted to go to a wedding function wearing very costly jewels. And you know what happened? She lost that when she was rushing back to home. And in order to pay the debt back, the whole family had to work hard. Since she borrowed the jewelry from one of her friend, her husband had to work very hard to repay the amount. So let us listen to the story. Now everybody take page number 72. The Diamond Necklace She was one of those pretty and charming girls born as the fate had blundered over her into a family of artisans. She had no means of being known, understood, loved and wedded by a man of wealth and distinction. So she let herself be married off to a clerk. However, she was very unhappy as though she had married beneath her. She suffered endlessly, feeling herself born for every delicacy and luxury. When she sat down for dinner opposite her husband, who took the cover of the soup tureen, exclaiming delightedly, Ah, what could be better? She imagined delicate meals, gleaming silver, and tapestries peopling the walls with folk of a past age and strange birds in fairy forest. She had no clothes or jewels as these were the only things she loved. She longed to charm, to be desired, to be widely attractive and sought after. One evening, her husband came home holding a large envelope in his hand. Here is something for you, he said. Swiftly, she tore the paper and drew out a printed card on which was written. The Minister of Education and Madame Rampano request the pleasure of the company of Monsieur and Madame Loisel at the ministry on the evening of Monday, January the 18th. Instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped, she flung the invitation across the table, murmuring, What do you want me to do with this? So children, in the first two paragraphs that we have read, it is said that Matilda was a lady who was born in the family of artisans. Artisans means people who make things with their hands and are skilled in a trade. She was born in the family of an artisan because, because of a bad luck or fate, because of mistake, some mistakes or she think like that, because of a mistake or maybe because of fate, she was born into a family of artisans and there was no means of getting famous, loved and wedded by a man of wealth and distinction. Distinction here refers to Merit that sets someone apart from others. A person with good job. There was no chance for her to be wedded to a person who is rich. So she herself set 
to marry a clerk clerk means a person who do all the recordical work keep the accounts it's called a clerk and she was always unhappy you know why because she thought that she was born to enjoy delicacy and luxury delicacy means fineness then when she sat down for dinner her husband was sitting opposite husband just open the lid of the soup tureen means large deep serving dish with a lid so he just opened the tureen he just removed that lid from the soup and he was so happy to see such a wonderful dish so he just said what could be better but the lady was not happy she was thinking about delicate meals beautiful pots and beautiful plates then tapestries tapestries here means it's thick cloth with colorful and ornate designs woven into which are hung on walls so this lady was actually a lady who loved luxury so normally in the house also she expected everything to be in a luxurious mood she want good good plates she want delicate meals she want tapestries around the wall all the decorations embroidered beautifully embroidered things she want then she had no clothes or jewels and these were the only things she loved she always bothered about good clothes and jewels and one evening what happened her husband came home and in his hand there was a large envelope there was something like a letter and with much enthusiasm much happiness he handed over the letter to matilda she just opened that and found what was that the ministry of education and madam brampenu request the pleasure of company of missia and madam loisel at the ministry of at the ministry on the evening of monday january the 18th so they are having a party so husband thought that matilda will be happy but the response was just the opposite she flung the invitation across the table that means she just threw it and she said what do you want me to do with this what do you want actually and this i got this invitation and what should i do with this she was a bit angry and she murmured why darling i thought you would be pleased she asked impatiently what do you suppose i am to wear at such an affair he had not thought about it he faltered why the dress you go to the theater in it looks very nice what is the matter with you he asked concerned as she began to cry with great effort she overcame her grief and replied in a calm voice nothing only i haven't a dress and so i cannot go give the invitation to some friends of yours whose wife will be turned out better than me look here matilda he persisted what could be the cost of a suitable dress which you could use on other occasions as well something very simple she thought for several seconds wondering how large a sum she could ask for without bringing upon herself an immediate refusal as and an exclamation of horror from the careful minded clerk at last she replied i don't know exactly but i think i could do it on 400 francs he grew slightly pale for this was exactly the amount he had been saving to buy a gun to go shooting next summer on the plains of northaya with some friends nevertheless he said very well i'll give you 400 francs as the day of the party drew near madame loisel seemed uneasy and anxious one evening her husband asked what is the matter with you i have no jewels to wear she replied i would almost rather not go to the party wear flowers he said they are very smart at this time of the year for 10 francs you could get two or three gorgeous roses she was not convinced no there is nothing so humiliating as looking poor in the midst of rich women 
Her husband said, Why don't you ask Madame Forestier to lend you some jewels? You know her very well enough for that. She uttered a cry of delight. That's true. I never thought of it. So children, Matilda's husband thought that she would be happy to get the invitation. But what happened? But instead of being happy, she threw it across the table. So her husband asked, what was the matter? Then she replied impatiently. What did she reply? She replied that she does not have any good dress to wear. Then her husband faltered. Faltered means spoke hesitantly. That is something which is not sure about to speak. That is faltered. And what did he falter? He faltered that you can wear the dress that she wore when she went to the theatre. Hearing this, she was very unhappy and suddenly she let her cry and said, what was her response? She said that she had no good dress to wear and uh, it is better to give the invitation to some other person who is having a good, what to say, dress to wear and who looks better than her. You can give that invitation to some of your friends. So after hearing this constant complaints from wife, what did the husband respond? Responded. He responded by asking, can you please tell what, what will be the amount of the dress for a new dress? How much money you want? Then she replied after thinking. She was thinking a lot. Why? Because sometimes her husband will not allow her to buy a new dress or sometimes he would reject the amount when he hear the amount sometimes uh, there, there might be a chance of rejecting so she was so conscious about telling the amount so she thought for a while and said that it could be 400 francs so hearing this what happened her husband grew pale grew pale here means that he got a bit tensed and worried thinking about the money you know because he was saving all this amount he was saving amount to buy a gun to go for shooting next summer to the place North Thaya that's a place in northern France so he was putting some amount of money he was saving exactly this amount of money to buy a new gun and now his wife has asked for a new dress to come to the party which was hosted by Ministry of Education. Anyway, he agreed to give 400 francs and after a few days, again she got unhappy and anxious. Then her husband inquired the reason and came to know that she is complaining about jewels. That is, she had no jewels to wear and declared that she will not be coming to party as she is not having any jewels to wear. Hearing this, husband put a suggestion. What was that? To wear flowers, roses, as it looked natural. And uh, it, it, it could cost only 10 francs also. But when she heard this, she was again upset and replied it would be a big shame bearing natural flowers in midst of rich ladies. So after thinking a while, husband came up with a solution for this problem. What was that? To ask to Madame Forestier to lend some jewels and she know her very well. So husband uh, came up with a solution of uh, asking some jewels from Madame Forestier. Madame Forestier may be her friend. She might be a very rich lady. So he asked, you can ask the help of your friend, Madame Forestier, as you know her very well. Hearing this suggestion from her partner, she was so happy. She uttered a cry of delight. Delight means happiness, something which exciting you find you 
utter a cry of delight so she was so happy and said that it is true and she didn't even thought about it